So, how are you guys doing today? Doing really good. good. Doing Thanks. Good. Okay. Um, so, last time that you guys were in Vancouver was about two years ago. Um, for you two specifically, Tim and Sam, how's it felt um, coming back here? It's cool. Vancouver is very special to us. So it's it's where we got together just almost two years ago. Um, so I'm excited to play the show and then have some time to just hang out here. Okay. Do you guys have any plans at all, I guess, for while you're here? Bike rides through Stanley Park. It's Bike our, our Vancouver yes. tradition. <laughs> cool. Um, so you're at the end of your North American tour now. Um, but to take it back a moment, um, can we talk about uh, this is our vice? Um, so how's it felt for you going back and performing those songs alongside uh, the songs off of Bats? It feels really good. I think the, the songs that we're playing off This Is Our Vice are the ones that I guess still resonate with us. And yeah, I think there's like a new confidence and energy that we get to perform them with now. So yeah, it feels good. Um, how does it feel play them, playing them alongside Bats? Is there anything that you notice about your earlier songs? Yeah, I feel like, um, I guess writing and performing Bats has been quite a transformative time for the band. And uh, yeah, I, incorporating those earlier songs kind of, I don't know, I, I feel like they're almost stronger in the context of all of the work together or something. So yeah, I like it. How do you feel uh, when you say stronger? What do you mean by that? Um, well, for me, I think there are certain parts in the lyrics and that sort of thing that maybe I didn't, I didn't like completely understand at the time of writing them and yeah, I, Come On Mess Me Up in particular is a song that like kind of keeps revealing layers of itself or something. And I, yeah, I love performing it more and more every time we do it. So, cool. What about uh, production wise, I guess, in the changes that you've had with uh, your new album? Um, yeah, I guess the, the sound has shifted a little bit between albums one and two. I feel like there are certain songs like Only Friend, Runner and Come On Mess Me Up off the first album that really do fit in with the second album. Um, but yeah, it's really cool um, incorporating some of the production stuff from Bats into the live show. Dan has just yeah kind of built do, do you want to go into it Dan but no, there no. <laughs> I, I used a lot of um, drum loops and things and now Dan has like cut it all up and he's like playing it all live in the show so it's cool because it's got I guess the sound from the album but it's got this like live energy and it's yeah I think it really brings the songs to life and there are songs off bats with auto tune and that sort of thing. So it's really fun getting to sing with live auto tune. It's something that I haven't done before. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's quite a dynamic set now with the combination of this is our vice and bats. What made you decide to uh, use auto tune? I guess. Um, I had wanted to for a little while. Like I, I love a lot of Kanye's music. Um, with the auto tune in it and one day I decided that I was going to figure out how to do it <laughs> and um, yeah it's kind of something that I play around with quite a lot when I'm recording and I think it'll probably feature more heavily on the next album as well um, but yeah it's kind of just a stylistic thing and I feel like it brings a, a different vibe to it and yeah it can be really effective I guess did how did you f guys feel when he brought I guess the auto-tune in I'm all for it yeah. <laughs> I, love I like it. the way it sounds so. yeah 
Tim often does like two versions or the same version, like turns the auto tune off and on. Um, and he'll like call me downstairs to come listen to a demo. And I go down, and he's like, do you prefer it this way or that way? I don't know. It, for some songs, it really just does work. It sort of, it does bring like a different energy. Was there any songs that he brought that had auto tune on and you really didn't like or? I think everyone we've agreed on yeah. that has auto tune on it. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> um, so just speaking back to uh, Bats, a lot of the songs are very personal, especially on, on Bats. Um, what, uh, I guess, gave you that confidence to get that personal? When I was writing a lot of Bats, I, I wasn't really writing it with the intent of sharing it or it necessarily being something that we use for Cub Sport. And I think it ended up largely being a way for me to understand what I was feeling. And yeah, like there are a bunch of songs, the earlier ones that I wrote for Bats, like before I had come out as gay or before Bolin and I had had a conversation about how we were feeling about each other or anything. And at the time I was like, oh, I'm just writing these songs there like not really about anything or whatever and then like now I can clearly see that it's like blatantly obvious what I was writing about um but I think that that ended up yeah being a really important part of telling Bolin where I was at and yeah I think the the writing of the album was kind of the thing that brought me to a place where I was ready to share all of that stuff so yeah by the time it was ready it was time to release the album I guess I was just a lot more comfortable with who I was and I didn't feel ashamed of sharing all that stuff that I would have been a couple of years earlier so you brought these songs all that all the all them written but not with the sound obviously um I'm assuming um yeah, just sort of like the, the demo versions of the songs, I would kind of, I guess because Bolin and I have lived together for years now, when I would write a new demo, I'd like bring it out into the living room and play it on the on the good speakers. And um, yeah, I think the main thing that was sending a message was, yeah, the lyrics and that sort of thing, so... Um, how does it feel for you uh, three soundtracking, I guess, his thoughts? Um, I guess for me it's pretty special. Um, I sort of am a part of it in a pretty unique way. I guess it's a pretty unique situation really altogether. Um, so over the years, having the that insight into sort of where Tim was at and sort of where he had come from where he you know it felt like maybe he was um the direction he was going in um it gave me a really um unique perspective on sort of how we fit together and um it gave me a lot of confidence um to actually bring up the fact that it, I wanted to um change our relationship to be something more um and then getting to be a part of it live is just, uh, I don't know, its it feels incredible. I, not many people get to sort of do that thing with the person you love. Um, so I love it. Was there a song in particular that uh, he brought to you that made you really, uh, I guess, think on? I think it was more the sum of a few things. There was the song Chasen. Um, was was definitely one of those songs. There are songs that are still just sort of demos in existence that have never been part of a release, um, which possibly gave me more of an insight than uh, than others. Um, but yeah, there were there were definitely times where I was like, oh, does that mean what I think it means? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. 